Award-winning, Aging and Awesome is a production of the Nevada Senior Care Foundation and Consider It Done Productions. Proudly presented by lend hand in-home care and transportation, serving Northern Nevada seniors from the comfort of their homes for nearly 30 years. Infinity Hospice Care, serving patients and families across Nevada. Infinity Hospice Care is a family of caring. Partners in Primary Care, your needs change as you age. Partners in Primary Care uniquely appreciates the aging process with senior-focused primary care locations across the Las Vegas Valley. And Senior Care Plus, bringing heart to health care, Senior Care Plus is the preferred Medicare Advantage plan of Renown Health. Welcome to Aging and Awesome, a show all about tackling the challenges seniors and their families face. While giving you a positive look at being older, I'm Joe Delarippa. And I'm Kai Sisson. Today we build a masterpiece. A Carson City man's life work is sculpting amazing art. For the last 47 years, Aaron Breen ganders and gazes at his latest project. That will amaze you. Speaking of Breen, when we reconvene, she ponders the old saying, when you judge another, you don't define them, you define yourself. A lesson on judging less and loving more. Plus, in Las Vegas, there is a new partnership that is allowing for seniors to have a one-stop shop to meet their health care needs. We tour Care More with our friends at Senior Care Plus. And later, elder exploitation comes in many forms. We explain a few of them with ways to identify and speak up about abuse with attorney John Michelson. Aging and Awesome begins right now. Seventy-seven-year-old Miles Tucker of Carson City has famously created several sculptures such as this take on a famous Renaissance piece which took him three years to complete in 2018. And now he's ready to share his next marvel with the world. Here's Aaron Breen. Miles Tucker has always been an artist with a vision. His latest sent him on a mission. It's about to be cast in bronze. An artist for more than seven decades now, he saw something no one else has ever even tried to create. The Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, and all those artists, nobody had captured that moment that Jesus came back to life in the tomb. But I think the first thing that uh, Jesus would do would be to look up to the Lord. So that's why his hand is up there speaking to the Lord. I presented Jesus with the two angels. We've got Michael, the archangel, and Gabriel, the angel. Here, this is the voice of, of God. Tucker spent months researching what they would have looked like. And these are other rep uh, representations of Michael, the archangel. Angels don't really need wings because they just appear where God wants them to appear. And they don't need wings. That's why I didn't show them uh, with wings. He knows it's the details that bring his work to life. Uh, doing the, uh, the tendons and the foot, you know, and the nails and the joints and the, the veins and everything. Uh, it takes time. It's got to be right. It's like the detail of this fabric and everything. Uh, and the sword is very highly detailed. That's, to me, that's what speaks to you. The detail on Michael is kind of uh, over the top when it comes to the, the furnishings, you know, all the, the belts and the, the sword and the clothing and the cape. Gabriel has the shoe in his hand, getting ready to put the, uh, the sandal on when Jesus stands up. I did the, the hair on Jesus in a way to where you could tell in this area right here is where the crown of thorns were. Miles has been drawing since he was six. That was one of my first uh, 
uh, finished pieces that I did when I was a little kid. He's never had any formal training. He feels God blessed him with his artistic talent for a specific reason. Absolutely, that's the way I feel. I feel like that uh, God has blessed me with a talent that he gave me when I was young, and there was a reason for that. And I think this type of uh, sculpture right here, depicting things that uh, God really wants people to see. And he has a lot more he wants to create. I'll probably never retire. You know, I'll be doing this until I can't see anymore, you know. <laughs> It makes you wonder what could possibly be next. For Aging and Awesome, I'm Erin Breen. Still to come on Aging and Awesome, we are in Las Vegas with Senior Care Plus to explain a new partnership for your primary care needs with Care More Health. And elder exploitation is more common than you might think. Learn to spot the warning signs and what you can do to help with attorney John Michelson of Michelson and Associates. Don't turn that channel. All right, Joe, don't turn the channel. We reconvene with Aaron Breen in 90 seconds. Are you looking for an encore career? At Lend a Hand, we are looking for compassionate and reliable people who can care for and relate to our seniors. We offer part-time and full-time schedules with benefits. Call Lend a Hand to get your encore career started today. If you're dealing with a serious illness or going through treatment, you don't have to do it alone. Infinity Hospice Care provides palliative care through Nevada Care Connect to help with symptom management, emotional support, and the care you need. Treatment can begin any time during an illness, during and after treatment, and all of it from the comfort of your home. Nevada Care Connect will work directly with your doctor and specialist to ensure the treatment you receive is exactly what you want. Learn more at NevadaCareConnect.com. Partners in Primary Care, senior-focused approach to primary care can help you figure out the safest way to stay healthy during this time. They are your new partner in good health. Eight centers in Las Vegas opening soon. Call today to become a new patient and see how they can help you. Why enroll in a Senior Care Plus Medicare Advantage plan? For more benefits with no monthly premium. For the all-new renowned preferred plan. For $2,000 of dental coverage for dedicated clinics and service. And the number one reason, for you and your health. Senior Care Plus, for the healthiest reasons. Enroll now at SeniorCarePlus.com or call us today at 775-982-3158. Hey, welcome back to my back porch. So let me ask you this, are you judgy? Be honest about that. I feel like we have all had a tendency to be a bit judgy over the years. I mean, whether you're judging the other moms, maybe at your kid's school for the lunches they pack. How about that? I mean, sushi in a lunch sack does seem a bit over the top for a third grader, but okay. Or maybe you judge people for choosing blue or green hair. Are those ear gauges? Or maybe full body tattoos? I mean, they really don't make any sense to me but I think it's whatever floats your boat, right? And I am not suggesting in any way that any of those are bad. They're just a sign of the times, kind of a cultural stamp of a generation. You know, when we choose something, it says something about us. How we see, and yes, how we judge others for their choices says something about us too. Now, I remember when my mom didn't want my twin sister and I to get our ears pierced. I mean, I wasn't quite sure what she thought that was gonna say about us, but she was vocally against it, and we did not do that until we were 21. <laughs> it's not always about looks either. I'm sure that people were judging me years ago when my husband left. In my mind, they were judging me for not being able to hang on to my husband. Now, maybe they all just felt bad for me, but I always felt that they were looking at me and judging me. <laughs> and I think that most of us have been on most sides of that issue of judging at one time or another. I mean, look at today. We're living through a time when judging others is way too commonplace. You've got Republicans judging Democrats. You've got Democrats judging Republicans. You've got blacks judging whites, whites judging blacks, young people judging the old, and yes, even older people judging the young and kids today. We have our own ideas, all of us, because we all have our different backgrounds. There are cultural differences, even age. And maybe we should just accept that we're all gonna see things just a little bit differently. If those ideas aren't dangerous, maybe we ought to just accept them and move on. 
Maybe if we all spent a little more time working on ourselves, we wouldn't have enough time to judge other people. I mean, there really is a story behind every person out there and a reason why they are the way they are. After all, it's been said that when you judge another, you don't define them, you define yourself. Now there's something to think about. For Aging and Awesome, I'm Erin Breen. Thinking about moving or downsizing? You should meet my good friend, Marsha Rambo, with Realty One Group Eminence. With over 30 years experience, if you're looking for a home that better fits your lifestyle, call Marsha today and tell her Joe sent you. Spanning Northwest Nevada, the independent, assisted, and memory care communities of Fernley Estates, Mountain Lake Estates, Summit Estates, and Carson Valley Senior Living. Caring people, serving people, improving lives. Take a tour of these fantastic communities today. Aging and Awesome is brought to you by Eden Home Health, Northern Nevada's highest rated home health for quality of patient care. Patients have a choice. Ask your doctor for the best in-home health care, Eden Home Health. Life is story, pages of amazing adventure and narrow escapes. Bold steps taken, races run, chapters on love and heart lessons and new beginnings. Your life, your legacy, our privilege to serve. Morningstar Senior Living. GI Consultants' highest priority is patient safety with screening and infection control measures to keep our community safe, utilizing telemedicine services, allowing patients to visit with a provider from the comfort and safety of their home. For the best gastrointestinal and liver care, choose GI Consultants. Aging and Awesome is brought to you by Donald Bernard Investment Fiduciary and Senior Vice President of Investments. Native Nevadan Donald Bernard has built an outstanding reputation specializing in retirement. For income ideas, give Don a call. No client is too big or too small. People looking for in-home senior care have many questions. How do I pick the right agency? How do I pay for it? And how will this affect my life? Others will tell you that they're the only ones who accept long-term care insurance. That's just not true. Or that they can meet your medical needs. And that is just not true. Know your rights. Deposits, lengthy contracts, high minimums, and inflated hourly rates can harm seniors. Visit us at lendahandss.com to meet you or a loved one's in-home care needs. Living at Lakeside Manor, an independent senior living community in the heart of Reno, means pleasure for the residents and peace of mind for their families. Rooms are available now starting at $15.30 a month. Take a tour of Lakeside Manor today. Don't let a mobility issue keep you from enjoying the things you love. MedTech Services in Reno has been providing mobility equipment and automotive solutions to Northern Nevadans since 1988. Visit MedTech's showroom inside the Big Yellow Building at 555 Gentry Way. Truckee Meadows Healthy Communities, Renown Health, and the Washoe County Health District present the Hello Project. Join them for It Starts With Hello, a virtual gathering every Tuesday and Thursday at noon, featuring local experts and quality conversation with your peers. Head to hellostartsnow.org. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Aging and Awesome. It is an exciting day here on East Flamingo in Las Vegas. We're here at Care More Health, where inside senior-focused primary care clinics are happening all over Las Vegas and a very exciting partnership with one of our favorite partners, Senior Care Plus. CJ Bowden is with us. CJ, what is this going to look like for members here in Clark County? Well, as you know, with Senior Care Plus, we always make sure that our members come first. And it was important for us to partner with a company down here that can provide that concierge level of care to all of our members in this area. So all of Clark County, we have covered with Care More Health and the network that we have surrounding that. And many of our viewers know how wonderful Senior Care Plus is. In Northern Nevada, what they're doing in Southern Nevada is really great. So let's take a look inside. What's unique to Caremo is a model of care. Our care centers provide a whole variety of services. I mentioned what we focus on is whole person health. Each patient is connected with their PCP, but they also have wraparound services, a lot of which are provided in, in our care centers. I'm really excited to show you our Caremo Care Center, the Flamingo location, so coming in. And what makes us different here at Caremore, it is um, we, our population that we serve, our senior population, 65 and older, when they come, as you can see, we have a one-to-one -one personalized care with our member. We spend time with them. 
we sit with them, making sure that on a level that they understand the disease process. It's really unique to have a lab here. And uh, somewhere, unlike a competitor, at time you have to go outside and get your lab work done. But over here, we do have a lab for the patient. Less than 10 minutes, the results will come. Result comes in, we review the results with the patients, one and one, making sure that we allow time for us to teach and for them to ask questions. Our seniors are on a limited income. We know they, you know, Medicare Donut Hole is a very realistic possibility for a lot of them. Our clinical pharmacists will work with our seniors to prevent them from going into Medicare Donut Holes and also provide them low cost alternatives while maintaining their health care. I think most healthcare errors happen during transition periods. So we want, we want to minimize those for our seniors. We know that time, uh, uh, you know, they're, they're really insecure. They don't know what all to follow up. So we want to bridge those gaps in care. And then, so have, imagine having a doctor who who's actually seen you in the hospital, exactly knows what he needs to follow up with. Two days later, that doctor is actually going to see you in their care centers. We want to make sure access to healthcare is not a challenge for our members. We also have a 24-7 nurse line. It's called CareMo Anytime. And this allows you to be in contact with a CareMo physician or CareMo clinician 24-7. Uh, Should you have any questions, you need any clarifications. That was truly incredible. We have Peter Emmy here. He is the general manager of Care More Health. Peter, when people come to get started, become a patient of Care More Health, what does that process look like? A Senior Care Plus member, the first thing they do is it all starts with a healthy start. And that's really where we bring the name Care More to life. We're gonna have you meet with our nurse practitioner. You'll talk to our clinical partners. You may meet with our social work specialists, our uh, Nifty After 50 team to talk about your physical wellness needs. Uh, you'll meet with our pharmacist. And it's really a comprehensive visit that dials up uh, what your care needs and benefit needs will be so that we can make sure that we take all the best possible care for you. And now open enrollment is ready to go. We have two plans available with Care More Health. We want to make sure that all of our membership has that concierge services provided. The first plan is a special needs plan for people that have COPD, congestive heart failure, or diabetes. And the second plan is a regular Medicare Advantage plan. So you don't have to have a special condition to come and utilize all of the Senior Care Plus and Care More facilities. Remember, you've got to enroll and you can go online to SeniorCarePlus.com. If you would like an in-person enrollment here in Las Vegas, we have our enrollment assistant, Roxana Verganza, and you can get a hold of her by calling 775-982-3158. Wonderful. Well, thank you all so much. Yes, it is a wonderful day here in Las Vegas. Be sure to head to our website, agingandawesome.com, for all the links to get in touch with CareMore and Senior Care Plus. In the U.S. alone, more than half a million reports of elder abuse reach authorities every year, and millions more cases go unreported. Sadly, the most common offender is a trusted family member or caregiver. I sat down with attorney John Michelson of Michelson & Associates. Have a look. Tell us a little bit about some of the things you've seen and how you've helped seniors and their families deal with exploitation. Absolutely, Kai, thank you for having me as a guest here. Um, exploitation is a big topic. Um, one of the things that makes it difficult is that it can be happening when the perpetrator might not even realize it. Sometimes they know they're doing it. Other times I think it's a gradual thing where they don't realize that some of their conduct about like withholding mail mm -hmm. and taking over bank accounts can become a form of isolation. It can become a form of abuse and exploitation. And so exploitation is when you're in a position of trust with someone and you use that position to essentially take over their accounts mm -hmm. and their property and maybe their income that's coming in, like social security income, that kind of thing. And I bet being a senior advocate, you hear the worst and wor of the worst stories. Yeah. Can you share yeah. one or two with us? Um, yeah, there's a lot of bad ones. There's uh, situations where we have seniors that live in apartments and so complexes, and so there's a lot of people around them that um, some of them are great people and other people are uh, maybe not as elegant in the way they're they're providing the help and so they start out they mean well but pretty soon um, you'll have a situation where they've maybe taken their checkbooks and that kind of thing I had one situation years ago where 
a neighbor had, um, he was helping uh, a gentleman who had no family, who was a senior and actually had a fairly large estate. Turned out this helper turned out to be what some people call a sovereign citizen. And that mm. means he doesn't believe in any law but himself. Oh God. So he took our clients uh, credit cards and checkbooks and everything and uh, proceeded to, he had it with him in his vehicle. And then when he was pulled over by the police, he got in a fight with the police. and and they confiscated everything he had when they took him to jail. He had complete control of this man's accounts and was doing various things with it. And it, it was uh, quite a process to get that, that property back oh. uh, from him because we had to show that it didn't belong actually to this other person. And, and uh, we have other situations where caregivers demand what essentially amounts to a ransom, you know, for, look, I've done this care for you mm -hmm. and so, now I need you to provide me um, with some kind of payment or you owe me now. And the senior oftentimes has the capacity to understand that that's not right, mm -hmm. but they don't really know what else they can do, especially if they don't have family nearby. You know, sometimes people don't have children of their own that check in on them. There's no spouse. And so um, it can be a little bit of a scary situation. It's so important for people in the community to be looking out for signs of exploitation and elder abuse. If someone thinks that someone's being abused, what, the, what should they do? We always recommend you report it. A lot of people say, you know, I'm not sure or, you know, when do we do that? And my thought is do it immediately. If you think something's going on, in the Nevada law, we have a thing called mandatory reporters. And so almost every medical professional, social worker, government worker, first responder, they all have a duty, they're mandatory reporters. Mm. Absolutely, well it's an important topic and one that we definitely wanna talk about on Aging and Awesome more often because we wanna protect our seniors as much as possible. John Michelson with Michelson and Associates, thank you so much, still to come on Aging and Awesome. We take a spin in Kai's cab with a Morningstar resident. You're watching award-winning Aging and Awesome. Customized coverage for your healthcare needs. Your insurance agency, serving Nevada seniors for over 50 years. Your insurance agency offers all Medicare plans. You need a plan as unique as you are. Your insurance agency has agents across Nevada. Call 775-209-1010. Partners in Primary Care, senior-focused approach to primary care can help you figure out the safest way to stay healthy during this time. They are your new partner in good health. Eight centers in Las Vegas opening soon. Call today to become a new patient and see how they can help you. Even with more than one million people cared for by hospice each year, the decision to call hospice is never easy. However, at Infinity Hospice Care, many families tell us they wish they would have contacted us sooner. And with hospice being covered by Medicare and most insurance, the decision to get your loved ones the help they need is even easier. Plus, the registered nurses at Infinity Hospice Care are available 24-7. To learn if we can help, go to infinityhospicecare.com. At Intermountain Healthcare, you get the same healthcare partners, caregivers you know and trust, but you also get more. More nationally renowned specialists to serve you. More holistic care, including preventive care and mental health. More technology options to simplify and improve your care experience. What does getting more mean? A healthier, stronger you and healthier, stronger communities. Because all of us are better together. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Aging and Awesome in the Cab. My Cab, Kaya's Cab. Along today is one of our favorite Morningstar residents because she's fantastic and funny and always willing, Helen! <laughs> Hi there! Hi! Good to see you again! So far! Thanks for playing again and, and you wanted me to do something to make sure you win. What was that again? You lift up the finger if it's one or two or three, yeah. <laughs> You weren't supposed to tell anyone. Well, you're gonna win, you know the rules. Get three out of four questions right, and I got chocolate for you. Helen, ready to play? I guess. I guess. Bring First it on. One. Bring it on. First question. If you were ordering a zinger meal and seeing images of the Colonel, where would you be? A, Wendy's, B, KFC, C, Burger King, or D, Taco Bell? KFC. KFC, without skipping a beat. That was an easy one, right? For some people. <laughs> <laughs> the Colonel. 
Good job, Helen. Okay, you're doing great. Question number two. Written by Lionel Bart, Food, Glorious Food is a song from which 1968 musical film? Is it A, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, B, Funny Girl, C, Live a Little, Love a Little, or D, Oliver? 1968 I, I, musical. Did I stump you, Helen? Did uh, I stump Oliver? you? Oliver? Oliver? Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> Was that a lucky guess? Well, he pulled up his plate and asked, can I have some food, please? There you go. Good. See, you got this. All right, you just got to get one more right. Okay. Here we go. Question number three for Helen. How many U.S. pints are there in three U.S. gallons? Is it A, 32, B, 16, C, 24, or D, 8? How many pints? In a gallon. In a gallon, but then times three, because how many in three gallons? Um, how many pints in a, two pints in a quart, three quarts? 24. 24? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Official? Official. Official answer is 24. <laughs> I need a pen and pencil when I'm paper when I'm doing math. <laughs> I, I saw you moving your, your hands and trying to figure out exactly what it was. It was difficult without pen and paper, but you did great. Congratulations, well, three for three. Okay. You are wonderful, Helen. Thanks for all you do and thanks for playing. You're welcome. That was fun. Next week, we introduce you to the Hello Project and what they're doing to advocate for older Nevadans. Tune in next Saturday, 7 p.m. on CBS in Northern Nevada, 7 a.m. on The CW Las Vegas, and Sundays, 11 a.m. on My LV TV. That's all the time we have this week. Our challenge for you, the old saying, judge not lest you be judged, is worth pondering. As Aaron Breen explained, we all have a tendency to judge others, but what if this week everyone made a deliberate effort to be less judgmental and more loving? We can all make a big difference in the world with small acts of love. Be sure to download our app, search Aging and Awesome on Roku, Amazon, and Apple TV devices. That way you can watch the show anytime and anywhere. This exciting expansion would not be possible without community stakeholders who are worthy of your patronage as they better the lives of our seniors. A big thank you to Lend a Hand in Home Care and Transportation, Infinity Hospice Care, Senior Care Plus, Partners in Primary Care, Donald Bernard, Investment Fiduciary, GI Consultants, Lakeside Manor, Marsha Rambo with Realty One Group Eminence, Morningstar Senior Living of Sparks, Eden Home Health, Michelson and Associates, Summit Estates, Fernley Estates, Mountain Lake Estates, and Carson Valley Senior Living, Intermountain Healthcare, The Alzheimer's Association, Your Insurance Agency, and MedTech Mobility services. It was so good to see all of you. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay aging and awesome. Bye. <laughs> One, two, three. Listen. Good show.